amigos. Presentamos este programa. Pero con sentimiento de la calle. In authentic Latin beat. For, for all of my people, Negroes and Latinos. And even the gringos. Pero si quieren saber un poco más de qué se trata, quédense unos minutos con nosotros. I'm Latino and proud. Don't stop the body round. I say aloud, I'm Latino and proud. When I'm on the mic, mic, call your home girls come. Say aloud, I'm Latino and proud. Don't stop the body round. I say aloud, I'm Latino and proud. Four and three and two and one. one. right now but thank you. Wow, thank you so much that was just you know just a reminder of you know what we've been through and what we've been this is it was just truly wow hello my name francisca beca oh my god <laughs> i am from dominican republic i want everybody to know that i am in in the youth plus business for more than for seven years and here is the man <laughs> who, the, <laughs> who the doctor say that he's not going to be able to walk and he had to be, his recuperation, he will begin in two years when they discover what he got. He's going to explain to everyone how he came out from what he got. Wow. Here are the main. Here, here. Well, um, <laughs> first of all, thank you for having me, having me in your call. Uh, it's so much things that I got to share about my illness when I was sick, but I'm going to start saying thanks to the family at Juice Plus. Thanks to my wife for introducing me to the Juice Plus two years before I get sick. Really, I didn't know that that was going to help me out so much. Uh, I remember when I get out from coma, I was in coma for a couple of days, thick weeks. Mm -hmm. I remember uh, the first thing I asked my wife if I was paralyzed because my whole body was paralyzed. I couldn't even move. Do me do like this, nothing. 
And then she touched me in the, my toes and my feet. And she scratched me like this. And she, and she asked me, can you feel this? I say, yes. She say, you're not paralyzed. And I promised her after that, that I was going to walk through my door whenever I get out from that bed. Go ahead. Bear with me because every time I say my story, I start crying. I remember all the things. So I promised my wife, I say, when I get home, I'm going to walk through my door and I'm going to be walking. And it happened 40 days after. Doctor, doctor told me that my recuperation or my rehabilitation was going to start two years to start to work. And when I came to my house, I started working through my door. I'm not gonna keep talking because I get too excited. And my, my daughter have to talk to say something about my illness or my sickness. Hey, All right, so I'm just gonna explain just very briefly what happened. So my dad was okay one day. Um, this was on a Friday night. He was okay. By Sunday, he went out, he told my mom, I'm not sure I'm not feeling very well. And we were like, okay. So, you know, my mom was like, okay. So if you're not really feeling well, he was to the point that he needed to see a doctor. They take him to the doctor's off. They take him to the hospital on a Sunday. He didn't, they didn't know what was wrong with him. They said, but we're going to leave you under observation only because it seems like you are, you seem a little dizzy and you have imbalance. So fine. They left him by Tuesday, as my dad said, and he can't remember much of it. But by that time, he was almost in a vegetative state. He couldn't walk. He couldn't talk. He couldn't see. And it was to the point that I was like, okay, this is really scary. Like, what's going on? I was simply just asking my dad, what's your social security number? Just so that I can fill out documents. He could not give me his numbers because he just couldn't speak. And whatever he was trying to say, we just could not understand him. Long story short, we were able to transport him you know I said at the doc at the hospital first of all they were saying that it seemed like he was making it up and I said listen I know my dad I know he's not making this up so we did transfer him over to the city while he was in the city we were you know he really couldn't swallow either but we were like we know we needed to get juice plus into him so when he did begin to swallow my mom was like sneaking in the juice plus I don't, I don't you know anyways we, we did what we thought was what we had to do right so we were sneaking in the juice plus we were putting it in like he, he was able to do like purees. So the water was, they added some type of powder to make it a little bit thicker because water on its own would make him, he couldn't swallow. So we were sneaking in the juice plus through applesauce. However we can get it in, we knew he needed nutrition and we were gonna do it, right? So he, we know we were giving him the juice plus and we saw just the fact that like my mom, she's been doing, we've been doing this for over seven years. His, you don't know what the future has for you, right? So the fact that he was having a proper nutrition and getting the correct nutrients into his body, I would say did all the difference two years later. We never knew what was going to happen two years later, right? And by him having the proper nutrition, it made all the difference. So we were thinking in the, the products. And then I'm telling you, when the doctors, when he went back, they actually asked my dad to speak with other people that were there because of how fast of a recovery he made, okay? And it was just incredible. Just And then after that, we were giving him the juice. And then the doctor one time came in and he was like, oh, so that's what has that. That's what that's a Superman um, pills that you're taking, you know? So it's just because of the proper nutrition, what he had, I think it made, like I said, all the difference. It, his recovery was so fast. It was like, they almost, they called it like a miracle. First, you know, thankful God definitely was, you know, there. And we we're so grateful. Number one, God. Secondly, Juice Plus, like I said, made all the difference. And what he had was Guillain-Barre, and he also had encephalitis. So they said this happens to one in a hundred thousand people, okay? From somebody, you know, some people don't recover from this. Some people, like they said, we were already getting ready to have long-term care in a hospital because they said it was going to be like two years before he was, we were going to start seeing recovery for him. So let me to God be the glory, number one, I'm telling you, because this was, and then I'm just going to be very brief with my aunt. We also had, my aunt was a different type of story because my aunt did not really, you know, we were, we've always been with the Juice Plus. We were trying to tell her, you know, take it. You don't live the best lifestyle. You don't live the healthiest lifestyle, but at least we felt, you know, you're going to have some type of protection. Just take it. 
she was like, oh, whatever, you guys, whatever, whatever. Um, one day she had a heart attack, 52 years old, heart attack, um, ended up, she had all of her arteries clogged. She needed emergency surgery. From emergency surgery, she did not wake up. It was five days later. Actually, so in the first week, she had a heart attack, she had a stroke, and she flatlined, okay? So she was getting feeding, she was getting her her nutrition through a feeding tube. You know, she eventually did wake up, but um, she was getting her nutrition through a feeding tube. And we were talking to the, we were talking to the hospital. We were saying, we want, please, like we want, I know that this is going to be good for her. We want to put juice plus into her system. And then we ended up getting them the research, um, showing them the peer reviewed journals. It was finally approved. And when I tell you when she took her first dosage, yes, this is it. So when she, it was, they put the label on there. The moment she took her first dosage, that's when she fully, I'm not even lying. Like she fully made that recovery. She, she was just like, she was alert. Like she woke up. Okay. And for the doctor, for the Presbyterian hospital, one of the best hospitals in the United States to approve this, that means that's, that's huge. That's like huge. Okay. We did our job. We tried. And and honestly, we would have been sneaking it in to her as well, but we couldn't because we don't know how to mess with feeding tubes. But if it would have been like my dad, when we could sneak it into him, we did it. But with her, it was a little different because she couldn't swallow anything and she needed a feeding tube. And let me tell you that video. I don't know if we have it, but it's that when they did that first dose, it was, oh my God, we were like, to God be the glory. So that's a little bit about how we do it. Um, What happened with our family Also, my daughter helps out. She does, she's all about the tower garden. Let me tell you, her friends came over. They do, they help plant. And it's, it's such a beautiful thing that we can do it with the entire family. And how do we not share this? Like, how do you stop sharing? You know, because this is, this has done wonders for our family and it made all the difference. I was, maybe if we didn't have juice plus in our system, maybe our story would have been different. And for my aunt, like I just going back just very briefly with her, she, all those, all those things that happened to her, she did have an amputation um, because she didn't have the proper nutrition. I would say, um, you know, she did eventually yeah. get amped. She had an amputation, but right now you talk to her, you see her, she looks better than what she's ever looked. And there's not a day that goes by that she doesn't take her juice plus. Yeah. Not a day goes by. Thank so, you so much. Can I that's... ask, touch on one other thing about the doggy? Yes. <laughs> you know, I have my 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 dog, the boy. I had two. Mm-hmm. The girl is still alive, but the the boy passed mm-hmm. away. But uh, they had they discovered him that he had a heart mama, and they they say that it's better for us and for him to put him to sleep. I say mm, he look at me like like. Come on, ask me that a question. You gonna do that to me? Mm-hmm. And I say, and I tell the doctor, if he, if he, I give him a treatment, do you believe that he can be able to live a little bit longer? And the doctor say, okay, he's gonna live, but he they're gonna cost you a lot of money for that treatment because it's a heart disease problem. Mm-hmm. And I say, okay. I will, I will do. The only thing that I have to do is sharing more of the juice plot. And believe me, every single month, I, I, I pay a high money for the treatment that I have for that with the dog. And after that, my dog lived two years. After two yeah, years, he passed away. Um, I give him a juice plot every single day because he has some story at one of the conventions they have that they give it just blood to, to, the, to the dog and any animal. And I, I did the same thing that I learned in one of my convention. And believe me, I joined my dog for two years after the doctor say that he's not going to live longer. It's better for, for us to put him to sleep. Um, that's the best decision that I could do, you know? And Francisca, I believe you shared with us that all the money that you used for your dog came from your Juice Plus check. All the money, all the money. I finish pay, you know how mm-hmm. much that's going to cost? A lot of money, a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Beckers. 